Yeah, watching all the minis here. See which one gets the love. So far, I'm looking at the RTY because we've got that resistance right there. So if that bar opens just below, the next bar opens just below, five ticks or less from that resistance, I'm going to short that RTY. And maybe shorting one of the others based on rock stars or whatever. So let's see. All right. So I shorted the RTY. So if that's the one I was looking at, the ES and the YM all qualified. And plus five. So that was uh, technically a naked rock star because it was more than five ticks from the resistance. But it still qualified. So this is about as textbook as we get okay price is channeling we're breaking out of this channel with these much bigger bars our mo meter goes from black to uh, medium gray to a lighter gray the lighter the bar the more imminent the exhaustion Okay, now we're overbought and we have this pullback alert suggesting that the sellers were waiting up here. They're letting the buyers just have at it here. Buyers are just having at it. And then the sellers are up here going, okay, now that you guys are tired, we're going to start selling in here, but the buyers are still trying to buy. The sellers are starting to sell. We got a churning activity. That's what this little dot means. A lot of power inside that little dot. Then we got this speed tick that says, yeah, the orders being processed here are more than, there are more orders being processed than us little retail traders are capable of. So that means this bar has probably been created by some sort of a computer that has the ability, perhaps it's even inside the exchange, to trade very, very quickly. Because us retail traders cannot do that. So this is a telltale sign that this bar has been manipulated. So based on our experience, after a manipulation like this, price drops. Well, especially when you factor in divergence into all of that. So right here, we had the divergence of the CCI. So price was going this way. So we have this upward trend in price, but momentum has shifted directions. And price will almost always try to catch up with momentum. So this is a picture perfect. It would have been just a, a little bit more perfect if this bar had opened five ticks or less from this resistance then it could have been called a rock star trade as it turns out it wasn't required because of the confluence we had over here this bar was overbought and had a pullback alert so that way it qualified for a naked rock star which is what this trade setup was all right watching the cl and the gc A potential naked speed tick on the GC. Could be a rock star. Naked rock star. We don't know. Ready. We're not going to panic. We're not going to rush. 
We're going to identify it. Looks like a rock star. If you get a better fill on it. So, bought the rock star. Plus five. Another nice looking little trade here. Now, I prefer a bigger drop coming out of this channel. I prefer two or three bars. But as it relates to my trade plan, this qualifies. So we had a pullback alert which made this qualify for a naked rock star setup uh, it, it also qualified as a rock star because it, it opened four ticks from this low of the day so look at all this confluence we have our pullback alert our ricochet speed tick low of the day rock star on the open of this bar off it goes for plus five 